you guys, I'm sorry to be the one to admit this to you, but I'm a big fat liar. It's not even really that I'm a liar, I'm just indecisive. It's not even that, I'm not indecisive, I'm just impulsive. I just, I get, I get really good ideas, and then later I get better ideas. Time to give some shout outs. Shout out to that guy's brother, he's in the uh, Navy. Also shout out to that guy walking behind the sign. He did the right thing and he hit the crosswalk button, so now we all gotta wait patiently. There we go, now it's green. Go brother Navy guy. Okay, so yesterday I bought a Suzuki DRZ125 for Lillian to ride. She rode it once, I rode it once, and then today I sold it. Okay, look, I just found a YZ85 online for $900. I offered him $800 and he accepted it. So immediately I posted the DRZ for sale. I just, I sold it for what I got it for, $1,100. I didn't even care about trying to make money on it. I just sold it as quick as I could. I actually sold it in a few hours, which was pretty cool. So now I have some cash and we're gonna go pick up the YZ85. For $800, how could you not buy a YZ85 for $800? Woke up, it was seven. I waited till eleven just to figure out that no one would call. I think I got a lot of friends, but I don't hear from them. What's another night all alone? Man, for a Friday afternoon, traffic is phenomenal right now. Okay, so you guys want to hear a funny story? So when I bought the bike for Lillian yesterday, to be honest with you, she wasn't that stoked about it. I got you another dirt bike. But then this morning when I sold it, she was sad. It's just funny how we can make an emotional attachment to a bike in such a short amount of time. She only had it one day, only rode it once. Sad to see it go. come to Oregon, make sure you stop by and visit Montnoma Falls. You can hike up to the top and check it out and stuff, but not right now because it's closed. I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. I'm just a kid, I know that it's not fair. Nobody cares because I'm alone and the world is. Nobody wants to be alone in the world. <laughs> Three hours later. Don't get me wrong, the Suzuki DRZ125 was a good bike for Lillian. It was a good bike for her skill level, it was a good bike for her height. But the problem with the Suzuki is it really only benefits Lillian. The YZ85, on the other hand, that'll benefit the whole family. I could ride it to train with the boys. Luke's at a level now where he could start riding it, which frees up the YZ65 for Mason to start working on that and I guess Lillian could ride it too. So really, that bike would be a win-win for everybody. So since we're on limited resources and we can only afford to buy so many bikes, I just feel like the 85 is gonna be a much better option for us right now. Good to me, man. Yeah. 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 No, I, I think it's uh, a good deal. So 800. Deal to me, yeah. Six, seven, eight. All right, man. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to double check yeah. to make sure you're all going to count it yourself. Cool. All right, guys, there it is. Sorry about the wind, but this is a 2006 YZ85 in pretty decent shape. I mean, judging by the wear and tear on the frame, the bike has not been ridden a lot. 
but it also hasn't really been that well taken care of. So there's gonna be a little bit of things that we're gonna have to work on, some things that we'll have to tidy up probably tomorrow. As soon as I get home tomorrow, first thing I'll do is I'll change the oil, change the fluids, change the gas, change the spark plug, and probably just tear it apart and see what all needs to be done. But guys, this bike is not bad. It's got a uh, Hurley graphics, I guess, which can't, I mean, it's matching. So yeah, there's that. But guys, check it out. 800 bucks for a 2006 YZ85. Not bad, right? This bike it's not great, but it's not bad. And it's not stolen. At least that's what the guy tried to tell me.